is. Something I've been curious about and I was kind of wanting to pick your brain about was uh, reading a crowd. Yeah. You know, what What do you do when you walk into a place? What do you What do you check in? What do you When you start looking at a crowd, what are you looking for when you get up there and you're looking at the crowd while you're doing your joke? Shoes. Shoes? You can tell <laughs> so said. much about people by their shoes. Um, whether they're, you know, blue collar, white collar, um, their their youth. I can tell you're a father just by looking at you. I can tell that you're a <laughs> musician. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have my Levi's, you know, the brand that is well known for making shoes, yeah. of course. Yeah, did you wear your Marvel socks too because Brandon was coming? Uh, no, I always wear my yeah, DC that's, socks. Uh, that's the flag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Look, man, I did it right. I got my Marvel socks on. All right, okay. Yeah. All right, I got you. Um, <laughs> bad, yeah. But no, I, just in all honesty, but, yeah. that's, that's why I like to show up to the venue a little early, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll kind of sit off in my little corner right. and, and and just kind of observe and observe, man. You can you know, you can tell by the conversations people are having, mm-hmm. by by the groups that are clumping up, and, and yeah. really. It's so one of the few times where it's okay to kind of stereotype, yeah, people. <laughs> like, a, like put a cork in it. Mm-hmm. Those people obviously had a decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were all white (laughs) and mostly over the age of 40. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can tell so much from those. But none of them clutched their purses whenever I walked closely Mm -hmm. to this. So it was just like, all right, I can, I can, you know, I can do my thing. They, Mm -hmm. they, they fuck with black people. Yeah, I don't they, have to be like, hey guys, let's, yeah, you know, yeah. just, I can play with a little Would bit. you even make that turn though? Would you be like, nah, I'm just doing this? Wouldn't, you wouldn't. Probably. I would probably yeah. still just do my own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'd hold back though. Yeah. Like, like you know what I mean? Like, I made that joke about how I saw all those white people and I was trying to figure out how to cut the N word out of all of my jokes. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah. Probably wasn't necessary. They probably say it too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Again, stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> Accuracy is, is um, key. <laughs> but no, man, it's just you just really have to be observational. You have to know people to a certain extent, yeah. which is difficult for a mm-hmm. lot of us um, yeah. inverted people. But right. If you yeah, if you don't having been out to meet a lot of people, I think that's probably one of the key things that probably for comedians that don't think about it, it's like try to meet as many people as you can yeah. just to get to know them better I mean all of all kinds of people different races and cultures and stuff too and it, if you're observing some of these mm-hmm. conversations before a comedy show yeah you'd be surprised how many of these folks are already out there in the crowd joking around yeah, yeah like they're, they're already, already in a jovial mood they're mm-hmm. there for comedy they're there for the ha-has and the fun. fun a yeah. lot of times you can tell their exact type of humor just by listening to their conversations <laughs> yeah. pre-show you yeah know what I mean? That's maybe uh so they i mean you you said you're an introvert do you ever just go out and maybe make contact at any of these tables and just kind of like hey what's up man you know at a show yeah <laughs> before it, a show yeah absolutely yeah, not <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not yeah. No, I mean if if I recognize people, yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes Friends. and stuff like that. But uh, strangers, yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I see. <laughs> see, because I'll do that. Yeah, I'll walk out and be like, "Hey, what well, you guys? What brought but you here?" Yeah, just, but you, like, yeah, you don't, myself. You're not them. afraid to just straight up ask them about themselves. I wouldn't like, say afraid. Don't no, no, no <laughs> but I, I am too. That's like whenever, I, whenever he does you that, I'm thinking like I'm, I'm in the same place as you. I'm like, yeah. forget that. Never. <laughs> Well, I'll go pick people off the yeah. street. I ain't scared of yeah. nobody, dude. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... Yeah, no, no, a big it's... part of it for me isn't even really like the anxiety or anything like right. that. I will seclude myself before a show just to get in my zone. Right. Oh, I don't good. usually go in with a direct plan, especially not anymore. Mm-hmm. But sitting there and having a full-on conversation with somebody right. could just take me completely out of my zone, mm-hmm. out of my bag, out of anything I might yeah. be thinking about. Because you would start thinking about whatever your, the conversation is with that and not even, you know, and that, whatever that is is not have anything to do with this moment, I'm exactly. sure. Really? <laughs> so and, it's, and yeah, it's comics good, especially, like yeah. other comics. If you've ever yeah. seen me before a show and try to come and have a conversation with me mm-hmm. and I seem standoffish, yeah. it's because... I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> and it's not like anything personal. It's right. just like I don't want our conversation right. to stay in my head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you can't get rid. I of don't want yeah. to. You know what I mean? Like have like a, at least a loose idea of the topics that I want to talk about Mm -hmm. and all of a sudden what you just approached me about is stuck in my head (laughs) and I forgot the direction that I was actually planning on Mm -hmm. going even though I'm not like word for word joke for joke planning out my set I still don't need all these outside influences. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. I mean, getting in my head. Yeah, I'm sure you that know, everybody's yeah. different with that too. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah. I, I feed off of it. Yeah, it, helps, right, it gets right. me into the rhythm of mm-hmm. talking and being right. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it's that's interesting to see the two different. Well, like I said, I think that you know, I don't think we we know. I don't think there are very many introverted comics to be honest. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, so it's like it's interesting that we, of course, that there are going to be big differences between those types of personalities. Yeah. Well, I know Chandler watson he yeah. does take his time he yeah. like goes off to the side and he's yeah. like i'm doing some art um, before i get up here i've seen it i've seen it he from a lot of comics so. yeah, yeah. Oh, Nosh, yeah that's such a good word. it is it Adrian is real Dulles nice too. Mm-hmm. he's doing a great job that's a fantastic yeah. i feel proud because he's asked me for a lot of advice oh yeah on that one. yeah yeah he's yeah. been doing really good him and uh, Justin C, they they even recorded the sets. Oh, and I gave saw it out some to everybody. Pictures, so yeah, 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 it was really good. Yeah. And then John Wallen did his first 30, 40 minute set. First headline. Yeah, his yeah. Headline he was good yeah. all the way through. Yeah, it was kill. He, I mean, he really, he did the job. I thought I was gonna have my first out of state headlining gig on March 9th. Mm-hmm. and I was wrong. It was actually last night. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I didn't find out until like yeah, yeah, you said last, that last last out. second, but yeah, yeah. How are they becoming easier? Are you getting better with your pacing? Yeah, you, I mean, I feel it? like I've been ready to headline so, and that, for a little bit, and that's like a thirty minutes usually for headliners. Usually or closer to like forty, 40 plus. Yeah. forty. So that's 40, what you did. Forty to an hour. You did a cork one, right? Forty yeah. minutes. Yeah, and 45. that was yeah. I had more. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, had, I had to cut some jokes, mm-hmm. and, but I'm I'm usually pretty conscious of the time. Yeah. Um, actually, looking at the video, once I cut off your intro and my outro, within ten seconds of being exactly at forty minutes. Nice. nice. <laughs> um, yeah. So you have like a good like internal probably clock in a way. Probably. Not really. I just <laughs> that's the closest I come to like actually structuring and building right. my sets ahead of time. Whenever you have to do that, like much time. I've gotten methodical with mm-hmm. my with my videos and my game tape. Mm-hmm. Like I'll watch it and cut out like the strongest bits and string them together into one big cohesive thing. But I'm like, okay, that was three minutes that mm-hmm. was five that was eight minutes see it maybe you judge you you have a good uh kind of you know what how long it takes to get through each whatever it is yeah it's thing. almost like little interchangeable slides yeah. like i have 40 minutes to fill so mm-hmm. i'll slide this five in here yeah. i'll slide this eight in here i'll slide this ten. Oh, yeah so i'll ask for the light at weird times <laughs> most people don't ask for like give me the light at five minutes give me the light at ten minutes mm-hmm. most people are like one or yeah. two I'm like, give me a light at five minutes, because no matter what I do up to that five minutes, mm-hmm. once I see that light, I got like four different five minute bits yeah, that I can, can yeah, tie yeah. into this and choose from. Nice. So, yeah. Kinda it's like not inside. really like keeping the internal clock right. throughout the entirety mm-hmm. of it. It's mm-hmm. just like, I got the but light. You know. I know I have five right. minutes left. Let me wrap this bit up. Because it doesn't do really matter. It doesn't, yeah, yeah, it doesn't nice. really matter up yeah. until that point when you only have so much time left. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, once you start, like you said, creating your bag. You kind of know yeah, your bits a exactly. little better. You can kind of pull them out and pull them out in different times. Like you tell mm-hmm. a bit, and you're like, "Oh, well, this will fit real good because this yeah. person said I that." I think that kind of stuff is probably even better or more handier whenever you're doing shorter sets, like five, ten, fifteen, twenty minutes, because yeah. you can you can do a one eight minute and two fivers or something. You know, if you have to. Right. I gotta be honest. I fucking hate doing five to ten. Yeah, <laughs> it's harder anymore. Like, yeah. Now, yeah, yeah. like uh, I hate it. That's something That's I've noticed that so for the watching that you guys do the cork put a cork in it shows that I like those shows so much better than like the lively sh- the co- showcases. What like t- fit twenty or fifteen minutes? Yeah, ten to fifteen, depending on the situation. So it's pretty short, but yeah, you don't have enough time to really get to know the comic sometimes. Mm-hmm. But with those 30, 40 minutes, like you get to you know 
really get to know the comic and and the comic is to uh kind of fill out the stories more and kind of lay the groundwork more yeah so it's 